Canada is the country in many things, many places, is the country in many races, many people. No matter where we live, no matter where our place is, Canada is waiting for you. Today we're going to learn about me and mine. Me. We can use me to ask for permission. However, this is rather formal and not used very often in modern spoken English. For example, may I borrow your pen? May we think about it? May I go now? We use may to suggest something is possible. For example, it may rain later today. I may not have time to do it today. It may come with us. Might. We use might to suggest a small possibility of something. Often we read that might suggests a smaller possibility than may. There is, in fact, little difference, and might is more usual than may in spoken English. For example, she might be at home by now, but is not so sure at all. It might rain this afternoon. I might not have time to go to the shops for you. I might not go. In the past, we used my have. He might have tried to call while I was out. I might have dropped it in the street. Which one is the correct form of may and might? One, I might work today. Two, may your friend check the keys before we use them? Three, we might go to there this Friday. Four, I could may send a letter to you. The correct answer is number three. We might go to there this Friday. Correct to use a may. Number one, I might work today. No present participle of might. Two, May your friend check the keys before we use them? No press, no pass parch ball on the main verb checked. Four, I could may send a letter to you. No can and may at the same time. Explore the website of Canada Smart Mind. You can enjoy yourself, learn English, French, and the Canadian immigration process. Make a difference. That's it. Thanks so much for watching this video. See you again next time.